Hello, how's it going? So, uh, this last few days in my designated electronics time in the day, I've been basically working on uh, one of the upcoming modules because I felt I needed to do this one next because every live stream I'm like, oh, I wish I could have some like delay and reverb in the modular on like the baseline and stuff like that, which I haven't got. And um, my delay, all of my delay modules that I've built in the past have slowly stopped working so I, I, I felt this is the next thing to do so basically I'm basing um, a delay module on free PT2399 uh, delay tips they're basically just uh, yeah it's just a, a chip that's basically made for karaoke uh, uh, machines and things like that if for adding like a delay to certain machines and it's got a number of different um, things in it and there's a there's a whole list of all of the pinouts and stuff it's it's got it's got two filters built into it so I've been playing around with uh, the circuit and I basically I've sort of gone for pretty much this is pretty much the same design I started here but I just adjusted a load of things to make it a little bit more uh, funky and I'm probably going to still adjust it a bit more here and there and maybe yeah vary the filters to make them a bit more uh, uh, I, d I don't know customizable but it's trying to weigh up what uh, what makes it too complicated and what controls to actually use so here it is this is what it looks like right now as you can see it's basically free of the circuits they're based nearly exactly the same however it's actually laid out in um, a, a different way to what you, you know uh, just free delays are so basically the way it goes is there's like a master delay and basically this one receives signal going into it and then it sends that signal out after the delay has been affected into this one and then this one sends it out into this one so it goes delay into delay into delay you can flick a switch and it goes from the master delay into these two which becomes stereo then so then you can have a stereo coming out so it'll be delay going into this one and this one separately and it means you can have um, that one of delay of these is pretty cool it's nice but it's better having a more because if you have this many you can swish it from a really strong like chorus sound uh, to delays and slapbacks all the way down to if you've got three like bouncing off each other in different kind of out of sync with each other you can actually make it sound like a reverb and in fact there are effects pedals that are based on these PT2399 chips three of them to make a reverb so you can make anything from chorus to reverb with this and um, yeah I'm just trying to figure out exactly the orientation and stuff but yeah it's uh, it's reasonably simple but it's free time so it looks more complicated than it is it's gonna have control voltage in into the overall thing and basically what the other thing is that it's all the three of them are connected together this is like a master delay time knob and then these two knobs are basically offsets of that so you when you're adjusting the time of, of this first one it actually adjusts these two as well but offset from this so it means that when you're twisting it all of them go out of time with each other and just makes it overall a bit fatter and stuff it's got wet and dry for all of them so if you really want to just go down to one delay per delay then you can I was gonna do it so you can have it configurable so you can have if you really want three separate delays but then it's just the modules getting too big and too many in and outs and too many jacks but there's a few different ideas that I've had that I'm working on that I'm trying to make it uh, you know interesting and funky and stuff it's just weighing up the simplicity versus functionality at the minute just shot what you're about to see just after this and yeah i kind of got lost in it and it reminded me of a few things that i liked about the two pt2399 that uh comes out so basically the travel of the potentiometer and um I've, i did this by accident in this one but i've done it before on purpose the great thing is if you turn it down to zero completely completely just shuts off which means that you turn it it's another way of turning it on uh, like it was a really accidental feature last time and it was really useful and it's happened again this time and it's really I think it's great and then you get the, uh, basically the, the last like two third the first the third just before the bottom so just before the like li last little bit where it completely turns off you just get so much like random uh, garble of nonsense 
you times that by three, you mess around with the um, the wet and dry of all of them because this one's going into this one, going into this one. So you're adjusting all the wet and dry, and that one's affecting that one, and they're going into each other. Is that it? Prove it, it makes some really really weird things. And um, uh, I've played. I've, I just played for it for 15 minutes. We'll see in a second. I mean, don't watch it all. It's literally just a load of garble. But I just got completely lost in it, and I because I haven't heard it with three of them going into each other before. I've only really used the play with just one. And the the randomness of all of the weird, uh, like, digital garbage uh, is really awesome with just one. But then I was just, I got lost with three of them. It was just like... <laughs> anyway, enough talking. Just have a, have a watch. Have a listen. Definitely skip through. Anyway, see in a bit. <laughs>